hey guys so today i'm coming to you with another video um today's video is how i get all of this hair right here under my wigs um i think i'm gonna do like two different ways because i know some people they really don't know how to braid so um i'm gonna do two ways um i'm actually gonna be wearing a curly wig so when i do my curlier wigs um they have more volume of course so i don't wear um I don't need my hair like as flat because they're already kind of like curly and big so I'm gonna be doing those braids um today and um so I'm gonna be doing those braids today stay tuned to the video to learn how I get all this hair in those braids and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my video and also share see you guys so first starting out, let me zoom in a little bit. Sorry y'all, I have bobby pins on my hair and stuff. So first starting out, um, I'm gonna just be doing some braids probably straight to the back. So I'm just going to part, I think you guys can see. So I'm just going to part all the way back. Damn! Oh yeah, my hair is just like kinky, nappy. So I'm going to part back like that and then put the rest in a ponytail out of the way. Next, I'm going to comb out the hair. Just like that. And then to start braiding. So, um, the way I start braiding, you just basically take three pieces and weave them like under each other, if that makes sense. So, and then I'm just gonna keep braiding the hair. And then once I get to a certain point, I just kind of like turn my hands around and then braid down the rest of my hair like that. And then you guys like know how to braid. You should know how to braid. I feel if you run out of hair on like one of your pieces, just grab hair from the other. So I braid until about like right here or until I just get tired and then um, I just leave it because I'm going to be grabbing this braid into the next braid if that makes sense i'm gonna be grabbing that braid up into the other braid so it can all just be like a flat seamless look because um i have pretty oh this hurt i have pretty thick hair and just having like all those braids in the back is gonna be a no-go back I actually don't um, braid in like my edges super like heavily or tight just because um, well for this wig I'm not um, I'm going to be wearing a um, I'm going to be wearing a closure wig so I like to have my edges out sometimes when I wear my closure wigs. So, 
therefore they don't need to be braided in okay so i don't know if you guys can see but it's about like halfway well a little over half that i've braided so i'm just going to take the braid right here from the first braid and grab it up into the current braid and just start braiding it down. If you guys want a close up of how that's actually done, then just let me know and I can try to get that out for you guys but right now it's just me recording this video so it's kind of hard to get the back of my head so just braid it down this is probably the least favorite thing that I like to do when wearing wigs is the braiding process like I just it just just takes so long and then my arms start hurting okay guys so um I'm just down to this section right here I have one two three four braids and um just for the people who don't know how to braid I am going to make um these last I'll probably make it into two I'll probably um make it into two so these last section are going to be flat twist and I don't know if you can see but even though I had how many one two three four braids I still only have one single long braid left I don't have any of the other just because I braided it in and the only con with um wearing gear hair and flat twist like this is you can't like braid the end into the next braid so all your flat twist ends are just going to be hanging down so that's like one of the cons that i don't like about having flat twist but if you don't know how to braid then you know like you so let me zoom in a little okay so what i'm gonna do is take a piece split it in half into two cross it over grab a piece of hair and cross it over again take a piece of hair cross it over again so all you're doing is just taking pieces of hair and twisting hair twist sorry guys i'm trying to make sure i don't grab any of this piece hair twist grab a piece of hair twist so it's literally just like doing single strand twist except that you're grabbing the pieces of hair along your head and then once you get to the back of your head and you ran out of hair you just twist all the way down until you have your end twist like that so i do and twist i'll take a can you see this a bobby pin I don't know if you can see it, but I was like a bobby pin and then just pin it up like that. That's the twisted one. And then, so my hair is all braided and twisted up. Now I take some of my um, hair grease 
and well it's actually it's called a hair mag hair magic but it's actually grease and um i got this online it was on instagram from this girl her name is um hairstyles by mary but i i don't know like i like it like it helps my hair to grow but i'm not gonna tell you guys to actually go out and um purchase this hair grease just because i've heard like thousands well not thousands but like i've seen like hundreds of reviews um of people saying that they haven't received their grease or like any product from her at that so i'm not gonna tell you to go waste your money if you're not gonna receive it i don't know i received mine um when i purchased it on her website i didn't receive a tracking number or anything like that i did receive an email confirmation but i didn't receive a tracking number but um yeah i didn't receive a tracking number and the hair grease it took a long time to come it came like like two and a half three months like it took that long to come so um i mean if you just have the money to waste and want to try and try your luck and see if you get it then like go ahead but honestly i guess like i wouldn't recommend it just because of like how many people said that they haven't received their um their grease or any product from her so all uh, my scalp between my braids are greased i don't put my wig on yet i actually put a wig cap over my braids to give it an even more flat appearance and then i put my wig on top of that